Velodyne VLP-16 comes packaged in a rugged Pelican case and comes with the Velodyne VLP-16 LiDAR sensor, an interface box that allows you to connect to power, ethernet, and GPS, AC-DC power supply for a 110 volt AC plug, a one meter ethernet cable, and a memory stick with Velodyne's open source visualization and recording software, VeloView. Be careful not to touch the polycarbonate lens to avoid leaving fingerprints. If necessary, use an ultra-soft microfiber cloth to carefully wipe away smudges. The VLP-16 comes with a 1 quarter 20 screw thread on the bottom, mountable on most standard tripods. Now let's talk about the connections involved in setting up your VLP-16. Plug one end of the power supply into the interface box, like so. Now plug the other end into a power outlet. The sensor is now receiving power as indicated by the green LED and the unit will begin to rotate. Now plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the interface box and the other end into your computer. Now plug the USB stick into your computer to install VeloView, a free visualization and recording software from Velodyne. Open the executable file for Mac or PC and follow the instructions for installation. Change the network settings from automatic to manual IP address. Enter 192.168.1.any number other than 201, 0, or 255 for the IP address. In this case, we've entered 77. Now enter 255.255.255.0 for the gateway. Remember to apply your settings when done. To access the VLP16 user interface, open up a browser and enter 192.168.1.201. The IP address can easily be changed on the main menu. The VLP16 contains a web server that allows the user to monitor configuration parameters, choose network settings, control rotational speed, and upload new firmware and calibration files. To open the VeloView application, navigate to and click on the VeloView icon. The VeloView application will now open in a new window. To see a live sensor stream, click on File, Open, Sensor Stream. The sensor configuration window will open, prompting you to choose the correct sensor. Choose VLP16 and then click OK. You are now viewing a live stream of your sensor. Click and drag the mouse for a different view. As I move around the room, you can see me through the live feed. You can see the great detail you get from the sensor.